I have way more discs than I know what to do with. I could sell them for 25 coin each, but that feels like a waste. Instead, I came up with something different. The Borrowed Bag Project. Hi, this is David Salee. I reached out on the Disc Golf Valley Facebook page for those that might be struggling with a tier tournament to post their bag along with the tournament that they wanted help with. I would then build their bag and attempt to win. I would also do commentary for each of the rounds and provide feedback on their disc choices at the end of each tournament. This gave me a great excuse to try out discs that I might not normally use and gives the disc vault a proper workout. In this episode, Don has challenged me to use this bag to win the Ghastly Cup. Let's see if we can do it. All right, the Ghastly Cup. B-tier tournament with two rounds of Harrowing Woods. So let's get started with it. And let's see what we're working with. Take a look at that bag. All right, well, we have an accurate glide pure. Okay, so we have a putter. Windbreak sticky fuse. All right, that's not too bad. Accurate windbreak musket. Oh, excellent choice. Accurate extra glide saint pro. Ah, really nice stamp. Really appreciate uh, helping out those pros. And then windbreak glide ballista. Glide light ballista. Some good standards there. A glide windbreak recoil. Ooh, nice disc. Light big skip ballista pro. Ooh, there's a good bomber. And a glide windbreak havoc. All right. Well, that sounds like a pretty good uh, variety of discs. So let's uh, see what kind of damage we can do. On this uh, first hole, I generally uh, just go with a musket. So I'm going to stick with that plan. Even with the wind, this is a wind accurate, so it ought to not be affected too much. Idea is just to slide close. Uh, turns out you can slide under that tree and have a tap in. Yeah, yeah, who knew? All right, well then we'll move on to the second hole. Uh, Stonehenge, okay, fine. Well, we'll just go again with that musket. Another three win, pretty, uh, pretty breezy out here on the course today. And we'll just uh, skip up as long as we get inside that inner circle. It's not too bad. Um, get to use the putter and actually make a putt this time. That's kind of nice. And so, next hole is going to be probably another one of those routine ones. Uh, my guess is uh, that instead of using the Explorer, which I usually use, I'm going to go with that accurate uh, Glide Saint, Saint Pro and throw it in there. And if I don't throw it with a full amount of power, I think, yeah, I'll leave it just a little bit short, but that's not too bad. 36 footer, we'll go ahead and make that putt. No problem. So I would guess that the first three holes are probably pretty routine for Don as well. So this one's going to be an ace run. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use that uh, wind sticky fuse, see if we can uh, get lucky and throw it in there. I like to just move above the numbers there. And ugh, so close. I thought it was sticky. Should just uh, cling to that uh, guard, right? Should have gone in. But I guess not. I guess we'll have to try and do it later in the round. All right, well, now we are starting to get to some must eagles. So this one, i um, gonna just take the light glide regular ballista and throw it like I do my ballista pro line. So just up over those trees. As long as I'm either to the left or to the right of that tree, it generally works out pretty well. Uh, this time it didn't slide too long. So now I got a 65 footer. Those are always routine. Even with the wind, I just pull it back and throw it. And, oh, no, it didn't raise enough. Ah, putters, I tell you. So used to using the fuse, uh, throwing with a putter is, uh, it's just, it's tough. It's a tough transition. So if you make the switch, don't ever go back. But anyway, we got a uh, wind glide ballista, so we can make use of this one. Just want to make it through the arch. Good old Stargate. And yeah, pretty clean. That's such a great disc. It's so good. So 65 footer. All right. Well, this time will be routine. So move it down a little bit because we have the wind and uh, come on. My fuse would never do that. Oh, well, we'll just throw it in. And hopefully these mistakes aren't going to cost us too much. Oh, everyone else gets an eagle. Of course they did. This is a B tier, right? This this isn't, you know, A tier people. Oh, well, spider tree. So generally I use a musket, but you know what? We're going to go recoil because the wind one, I'm just not sure if it's going to make it. Try and uh, go into the hill a little bit, skip up, get close, and make use of either rotate the world or just have a nice open shot like this. Turn it a little bit, eh, a little mini rotate. 
and throw in the putter. So, so far, you know, it's just a clean birdie round. It'd be nice to get a few eagles, though. So, cross branch. All right. Well, you know what? We're going to channel our inner Erdizzle. And he's got this wind accurate musket. And so he just throws it out there. And much like, you know, on my regular bag, I'm using an accurate glide. But as long as you're getting to this position. So now we're going to go with that deadly forehand accurate shot. So we'll slide it over. We'll line it up. We'll throw. Oh, it's looking good. A little high, a little high. Oh, wait, it's a sticky disc. That's right. So that works out pretty well. So even though that wasn't an accurate fuse, we managed to get the eagle. That's pretty nice. All right, now the par five. All right, well, we got uh, we got a light glide ballista. So we'll just uh, send that out over the top. Treat it just like the ballista pro. And see if we can slide through. Eh, okay, so we're trapped. And if you've seen the uh, Simon video, you know that me being trapped in the center of this forest, <laughs> I don't really care because I will make use of a roller. Now, because we're 353 feet away, I'm going to go ahead and roll with the recoil instead of the usual musket. I'm going to go to the left of this gap because what I want to do is go right down the center of that fairway, just like that. Have it curl in. Oop, ah, almost hit the post but it's going to slide out. So even if you are in trouble in the center of that, remember you can roll any disc that you want. You do not have to have a roller disc to do it. And so we finished Eagle Eagle. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So our first round, we're going 11, which puts us in a four-way tie. These are B-tier people, right? I mean, come on. That's like A-tier level stuff. These guys, these guys know what they're doing. All right, well, we're just going to have to knuckle down and keep uh, grinding away and hopefully get some good scores. So we're going to treat this the same way. We're going to throw it just like we would get trapped in the forest. Oh, oh wait, no, we're going to slide through just fine this time. Uh, makes it a little bit too routine. So yeah, let's go forehand and let's switch to that uh, St. Pro. Yeah, because it uh, should work out just fine. Throw it uh, pretty much 100%. Let it slide in there. I oh, just missed the post. I had a little more slide than I expected. Uh, that's all right. Putters are good. So we'll throw it in, 44 feet. Okay, now now we're on track. We've had multiple eagles in a row. All right, the other guy's keeping up with us. That's okay. Uh, now we got cross branches. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can do the uh, good old Erdizzle trick again. Uh, two headwinds, so that's uh, making it a little bit more sketchy, but hopefully it'll slide in and round. Uh, you know, that's it's on the wrong side of the tree. So I'm not going to do the forehand run. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a backhand, do a little ante with the sticky, and hope that the sticky gets nice and grippy, and yeah, that's fine. Uh, so now we are at 22 feet, pretty easy, routine shot with the putt. Good old putter. All right, so that's working out okay. Now we go back to the old spider tree, and what do we have? We have two wins. That's a helpful win. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the musket anyway, and throw it out. Hopefully, uh, have it uh, skip up close enough. That's not too bad. That'll work just fine. So again, if you have the branch in the way, just slide over. You can do a little mini rotate the worlds if you have to, or just throw it straight in. Uh, there's some pretty good openings on multiple sides of the tree, so it's it's not that bad. All right, well, we got Stargate again. So the wind glide ballista worked out pretty well the first time. And even with this two wind, because it's a wind glide, it's going to reduce the effect of it, which is nice. And we go straight through the arch, just like we're supposed to. All right, so I have a little redemption this time. Uh, 49 feet. OK, and you know what? I'm going to throw this in, because I need the practice with the uh, throw ins of the putter. Uh, we just want to get dead center. And oh, there it is, dead center. <laughs> oh, oh, kicked it out. Thank you so much. All right, fine birdie. Oh, we are now behind. Okay, well, hmm, that's not good. All right, well, we can make it up by getting a eagle here. So let's go with that light glide ballista. And two wins, so we got to do a little ante, and whoo, it's going to take it. All right, that's fine. We'll go around the backside, kick off the hill, slide down, and have a pretty decent shot. 55 feet. Okay, two tailwind, fine. We can throw this in slightly lower. And dead center, and this time it stayed in. Thank you. So that's a nice eagle. Uh, good, that ties us back up. So we have just a few holes to go. We are tied. 
let's see if we can run this as an ace. Uh, the one win shouldn't affect it too much. Uh, line it up on top of those numbers. Uh, a little too much, too much ante. Yep, so at least it's going to stay. That gives us a very routine, easy birdie. All right, just three holes to go. We are still tied. The next three holes should be fairly routine birdies. Uh, most of the time, the uh, tier tournament AI players are not going to be acing these, which is kind of nice. Uh, sometimes the A tier level will, but uh, generally speaking, they're just going to get birdies at best. So as long as we can keep pace and get the birdies, which we did there with the Saint Pro and then a putt, and yep, we are tied at 20-20, so that's good. Just two to go. Good old Stonehenge. All right, well, a good helpful win. So yeah, we'll just uh, take that musket and throw it out there and not worry too much unless it gets stuck behind a tree, or not tree, but a rock. Thankfully, that's not too bad. 46, yeah, we can make that. Two helpful win, no problem. All right, just one hole to go. All right, not too bad. And this one, let's see what kind of win we got. It's uh, one cross, that's not too bad. The accurate windbreak uh, musket should be just fine. Throw it out there. All we want to do is get over the top of that rock. Ooh, clipped it. That's uh, okay. Oh, 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 easy there. Sliding way far. Oh, well, 45, we'll just throw this in. Uh, foliage effect. Oh, in for par. Well, that's probably going to cost us. Oh, wait. They got par. Looks like we got 21s. Survey says. Oh, three way tie for first. Well, alrighty then. I guess uh, I guess that's mission accomplished, right? So, yeah, we'll take it. A first place finish. Wonderful. All right. Well then, uh, let's uh, get to the evaluation portion. Okay. Well, first off, Don, thank you so much for providing a bag and a tournament challenge for me. It was a lot of fun. Had a good time with it. And let's uh, take a look at the discs and see if, you know, there would be any suggestions that I would make. So first off, of course, the Accurate Glide Pure. Uh, I don't carry a putter, but I don't, you know, fault anyone that does. So if you're going to carry a putter, that is an awesome one. And love the color and everything as well. So that's really cool. Then we move over to the Wind Sticky Fuse. Uh, in this particular case, uh, any time that I have the ability to have an accurate attribute attached to a disc, then that's kind of where I'm going. And so I would recommend, even though the Windbreak Sticky Fuse is an awesome disc, I would recommend going either an accurate windbreak or an accurate sticky, kind of uh, deciding between the two. Um, it looks like you have an extra slot available so you could uh, actually use both if you really want it. You could have a windbreak sticky and you could have you know an accurate something else in there or just go accurate windbreak and accurate sticky and replace the windbreak sticky. Anyway that'd be a recommendation that I would make. Uh, the windbreak glide ballista is such a great disc it's so good so definitely definitely keep that one. The Glide Light Ballista, fantastic disc as well. The only recommendation is if you ever get an opportunity to get a Ballista Pro version of that, you might consider throwing it in, testing it out, and giving it a go. The Glide Windbreak Recoil is again just a phenomenal disc. So yeah, I recommend keeping that. Uh, the Turn Skip Ballista Pro and the Light Skip Ballista Pro. Uh, those two are quite a bit of overlap, but you know, if you find that they are working for you, then you know, go for it. I, you know, recommend you keep them. The Glide uh, Wind Havoc is another great disc, something that goes just deadly straight for a really long amount of time. I didn't get a chance to use it on this particular layout, but you know what? If it's working for you, just keep it. Uh, the Accurate Windbreak Musket, yeah, it's a great disc. You know, having a musket in the bag is, uh, I, f I feel pretty essential. And even though I go with the Accurate Glide because I like the extra distance, that Accurate Windbreak is just right on par with it. So yeah, just, just fine. 
and the Saint Pro uh, actually seems to work just fine as far as uh, being a replacement for me anyway for the uh, Explorer and or River because I, I like both of those but uh, the Saint Pro uh, I mean you can't argue with that stamp huh it's pretty pretty slick and you know the distance on it is just a little bit uh, more than both the Explorer and the River and so you know if that's working for you then absolutely stick with it so the bag itself you know I think it's I think it's a great bag yeah the only uh, strong recommendation that I would make is uh, taking a look at that fuse and deciding if maybe you know throwing something with an accurate uh, either one or both of those attributes then that would be like I said about the only recommendation that I would make so again thank you very much I hope that some of these lines and things will help and you're on the road to crushing your opponents, especially on this particular tournament, even though they are tough. They are so tough. So good luck. And again, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it.